Assalamu alaikum everyone. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. I want to welcome all of you for joining. I'm sorry that we're starting a few minutes later today, uh, about five minutes late, but we will, inshallah, um, try to make up a little bit of time as we go. Uh, this, we are about to start the next session of the Hajj at Home online kids camp. I hope you all are enjoying the Hajjah so far. I hope you all are enjoying this program so far. I hope you all are enjoying the learning guide, the activity packet so far, inshallah. Let us know, type in the chat and let us know if you are enjoying these programs so far with uh, Sheikha Maryam Amir and Sheikha Aisha Prime. Let us know if you are enjoying this program so far, if you're learning, if you like the games, if you like the packet. Uh, did you print out the activity packet at home? Let us know in the chat, inshallah. Um, and we want to thank our webinar sponsor for today. Uh, it is a sister who did not want her name shared, but she helped us to uh, pay for the program today. Um, and her dua was, and everyone should say amin to this dua, oh Allah, grant me and my family the best of this world and the best of the hereafter, protect my children, fill their hearts with iman, and surround them with righteous friends, bless my work and make it a sabaqa jariya for me, and put extra baraka in the work, celebrate mercy is doing amin. Everyone say amin, everyone say amin. Inshallah. And if you're interested in sponsoring any of these little Hajjah webinars, this is for the parents. Send us an email, Inshallah. We do need more sponsors, so send us an email if you're one of the parents watching because we are looking for more sponsors, Inshallah. And your du'a request will show during the program like this, Inshallah. Okay, we want to share again the... Wow, look at this, guys. That is, mashallah, that is some video footage from the Kaaba. That is some video footage from the Kaaba, from, from the Celebrate Mercy trip, mashallah. And if you, and you could win, mashallah, this is a video. That video that you just saw there, um, that video was taken by someone who joined one of the Celebrate Mercy Umrah trips. MashaAllah. So you could win. We, we, we told you about this contest before that you could win, inshallah, a trip to Umrah. Uh, and there's different ways you can do that. On the last day of this program, the day before Eid, we are going to pick a name out of a hat and choose one of you to win a trip to Umrah to Mecca and Medina, inshallah. How can you have your name in the hat and maybe win that trip? Um, you can send us a picture of you watching the webinar. Make sure that we can see the, the webinar in the background of your picture, inshallah. You could send us a picture of you with your worksheets, with our activity packet that you um, hopefully printed out at home. and Or you can send us a picture of you with your Dhul Hijjah decorations at home. If you're decorated your home for these special days, for these days of Hajj, send us a picture. And you can email that picture to kids at celebrate mercy.com inshallah and so we have been getting a lot of your emails inshallah uh and don't worry we have counted them and we are putting all the names in a hat of those who are sending these pictures inshallah and just look at some of the pictures that we've gotten so far these are families who are watching the this is these are examples of families watching the webinar or with their activity packet oh there's a nice activity packet right there look at all these pictures guys these are pictures that you've been emailing and all of these kids are going to have their name in a hat to potentially maybe win that trip to Umrah, inshallah. Imagine you could get a free trip to go to Mecca and Medina. So these pictures are amazing. Look at these pictures you guys have been sending. Oh, I see myself there. <laughs> these are awesome. Wow, these are so great. Oh, those are, look at that, the Kaaba that someone did at home. Okay, these are awesome. Do you see yourself? Do you see yourselves in these pictures? Some of you, you can tell us in the chat if we showed your picture. MashaAllah. Thank you so much. 
And inshallah, one of you will win that trip to Umrah, and we will choose that person later, uh, the day before Eid, inshallah. There's also another contest, another contest that is listed in page four of your packet. And some of you have already been, um, you know, starting this, inshallah. This is a contest where you tell us what your goals are for Dhul Hijjah and you send us a one minute video, or it could be a little bit shorter than one minute, okay? And we will judge which entry was the best. Uh, the prizes for this are really big. Um, it is $300 gift card to the Celebrate Mercy store or $200 or $100, inshallah. So this is a contest. If you want to learn more about it, go to page four of your activity guide packet, inshallah. So yesterday we had a game, trivia game, where we asked you some questions and we had some winners yesterday for day three. Today is day four. Yesterday was day three. And by the way, if any of you guys missed any of the days, if you did not watch session number one, class number one, class number two, class number three, then please, inshallah, go back and watch the recordings uh, on our YouTube channel, on the Celebrate Mercy YouTube, inshallah. Okay? So these are the names of those winners. Look at this. Today, we have, these are the people that won, mashallah, uh, uh, yesterday's trivia questions, okay? We chose the person who was the third and the sixth and the 15th correct answer. So we have Fatima Gomez, Alicia Memon, Ahmed Farouqi, Hannah Faris, Photoshop Boss, Kitty Play Day, Duncan, Duncan Squad Official, and Muhammad Maz Khanani, and Jay Shah. And, and I know some of these names might be your parents' names because these are just the names of your YouTube uh, your YouTube channel or your YouTube account names. But if you're if you see your name here, send us an email to kids at celebratemercy.com because you will get one of those sandal pins that you see there. We will send it to you in the mail. And one of you, one of you, there's nine names here. One of these nine names is going to win that six hundred dollar, that six hundred dollar uh wooden sandal. Okay. All right, so do we have a raffle wheel, inshallah, to show? Let's see. We're going to choose the winner of the um, wooden sandal. Here we go. Our sister Danielle is going to, I'm going to make this full screen here. And let's go ahead and choose the winner of the $600 wooden sandal. And the winner is, looks like it's Ahmed Farouki. Ahmed Farouki. MashaAllah. Ahmed Farouki is the winner of that $600 wooden sandal. MashaAllah. And you guys may see, look at, look at, look on my wall here, guys, right there. That is one of the sandals right there, one of those $600 wooden sandals. That is what one of you. Ahmed Farouki just won that. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. So we are so excited. Um, we are so excited to, and today we're going to have more questions and more of you are going to have the chance to win the sandal pins or even that big wooden sandal, inshallah. Okay, let's keep going, guys. So I'm now going to bring, inshallah, Sheikha Aisha Prime to the stage. Okay, and Sheikha Aisha Prime is going to ask you these questions and we're going to share some of your answers on the screen and some of you are going to win those prizes that we just saw inshallah so uh let's see if Sheikha Aisha Prime is with us I see her backstage Sheikha Aisha are you here with us inshallah if not then I can ask the questions if she's not ready Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ask these questions, inshallah. Um, let's see. The first one is, here's the question, guys. Get ready to type it in. In the Quran, in 
the tw in Surah 22, verse 27, it says, call all people to the Hajj. Call all people to the pilgrimage. This is in the Quran. They will come to you on blank and on every lean blank from every distant path. So what are these blanks? Can you fill in the blanks here? Call all people to the pilgrimage. Call all people to the Hajj. They will come to you on blank and on every lean blank from every distant path. Let's go ahead and see if we get some correct answers. Okay, foot, camel, foot, animal, foot, camel. Okay, good. Foot, camel, foot, camel. That's correct. The two blanks to fill in are foot and camel. That's correct. Masha'Allah. That's right. So the, 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 the verse of the Quran says right here, call all people to the Hajj. They will come to you on foot and on every lean camel from every distant path. Did you know that there are some people, even today, that go to Hajj walking? Sometimes they walk hundreds of miles. Some, people's, some people walk hundreds of miles to go to the Hajj. Did you know that? And sometimes in the past, it used to take sometimes weeks or, or months for someone to go to Hajj. Imagine someone walking all the way from West Africa to Mecca. And that was something very, very common uh, in the past. Okay, here's the next question. The next question is, what direction do Muslims make tawaf around the Kaaba? What direction do Muslims make tawaf around the Kaaba? Let's see what your answers are, inshallah. What direction do Muslims make tawaf around the Kaaba? What answers are we getting here? Okay, someone's saying right. We need it to be a little bit more specific. This is a little bit of a tricky question here. Anyone? Okay. Uh, okay, this anti-clockwise. Correct. So anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, counterclockwise. This, the correct, the correct answer is counterclockwise. What does the counterclockwise mean? What does that mean? Um, you guys know the direction that the clock goes. It's the opposite of the direction that the clock goes, okay? It's the opposite of a direction. If you have a watch on your hand or you're watching the clock, it's the opposite direction that you see on a clock. That's the way that the, the hujjaj, the hajj pilgrims go when they're walking around the Kaaba, mashallah. All right, so we have and one more question here. One more question. Another name for Mecca is found in the Quran. Another name for Mecca is found in the Quran. And this is the verse. Surely the first house of worship established for humanity is the one at blank, a blessed sanctuary and a guide for all people. Did you all know that there's another name for the city of Mecca? And it's mentioned in the Quran. So what is that name? What is another name for Mecca? Yes, I'm seeing the answers here coming in. The answer is Becca with a B. It sounds like Mecca, but it's with a B instead of an M. Becca. That's correct. That's correct. Good job, mashallah. I'm seeing you all answer that question. The answer is Becca. And I saw you guys were spelling it different ways. That's okay. B-E-C-C-A or B-A-K-K-A-H. Uh, different ways you can spell that. But the answer is Becca. That was, a, that was a hard question. That was a hard question. And I saw some of you got that right. Mashallah. I know the questions today might be a little bit harder than you're used to. But we wanted to challenge you today. And many of you guys got those questions right. Mashallah. Which is amazing. That's amazing. All right. Let's keep going, guys. So as I said in the trivia, we are going to um, we are going to select nine of you who were answering those questions correctly, and you are going to win the sandal pin prize, and one of you is going to win that wooden sandal as well, mashallah. So today is day four, and we are going to be talking about tawaf. We are going to be talking about 
Tawaf. Does anyone know what Tawaf is? What is what, when I say the word Tawaf, what does that even mean? What does that even mean? Wow, you guys are very active in the chat. I can't even keep up, mashallah. I cannot. Yes. Tawaf, T-A-W-A-F. T-A-W-A-F, okay? Anyone know what tawaf means? When you walk around the Kaaba seven times counterclockwise. Well, that was very descriptive. That's exactly what we're talking about. That's exactly what we're talking about. When you go around the Kaaba seven times. When you go around the Kaaba. That is what tawaf means. Good. I'm glad you all know the answer to that question. Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. Look at this. See, that video that you just saw is exactly what Tawaf is. That's exactly what Tawaf is. And that video was taken just one hour ago. That video that you just saw of the pilgrims making Tawaf, this one right here. That video right there is Tawaf. And that video was taken just one hour ago. That is today. That is happening right now, guys. In Mecca, people are making Tawaf for the Hajj. MashaAllah, and you can see uh, the men are wearing uh, their ihram, they're wearing white there. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, MashaAllah. That is tawaf, MashaAllah. So great job to those who answered that. Oh, let me keep going. With... That video keeps playing. I am now going to introduce, MashaAllah, an amazing poet, an amazing poet, and his name is Baraka Blue. Baraka Blue is our poet who's going to be joining today and reciting a poem. And he recites poetry and he writes poetry and he has an amazing book that just came out too of poetry around the world. He teaches poetry, he recites poetry, he writes poetry. He's been also sharing poetry on Celebrate Mercy programs for about 10 years now, mashallah. We're really, really grateful to have him with us, mashallah. And um, he joined us also when Celebrate Mercy went to Jerusalem, Masjid Al-Aqsa, and we went to Mecca and Medina for the first time. Baraka Blue was with us. Um, and so I'm now going to go ahead and bring Baraka Blue to the stage to read some beautiful poetry, uh, inshallah, for all of you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Great to have you with us, Sidi. Greetings and peace. Good to see you, Sidi Tariq. Great to be here and love and light to everyone around the world who is joining. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So this is a blessed occasion for all of our brothers and sisters who are now journeying to the Holy House in Mecca, in Becca, as we shared. And But for all of us, it's also a sacred time because we're all pilgrims. We're all journeying. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We are from God and we're returning to God. And so in the spirit of this blessed occasion, I wanted to recite a poem that is also a dua. It's a prayer. And I want everyone who is listening in, wherever you may be, to join in this prayer by saying Amin after every line. So if you're there with your family or there, there with your brothers and sisters or your loved ones, yes, we are going to do the love and light poem. And I believe uh, we may even have some slides, although I'm not sure. Um, so this is going to be something that we all say along with. So after every line, you will say, Ameen, inshallah. So this is how it goes. May your day be filled with love and light. May your wrongs be right. May your bonds be tight. May your words give sight. May your nur shine bright. May you always be on the righteous side of the fight. May your lovers be soil. May your lovers be loyal. May your soil be fertile. May your khakis stay crease. May your locks stay oil. 
May your plans never get foiled. May your plot thicken. May your chicken be halal. May your style be sufficient. May your soul be free of its prison. May Allah increase you in your vision. May you find everything you've been missing. May you awake for prayer before the sun has risen. When you speak, may your audience listen. May you never feel trapped in the system. May you sire many righteous children who will act on prophetic tradition. May you always have food on your plate. May you learn from every mistake. May you rise above all the hate and may Allah increase you in your state. May you never pretend that you are what you ain't. May your friends be real and never be fake. May your rent never have to be late and may your health always be great. May Allah forgive every sin now and forever if you fall to begin. And may you always stay close with your kin and may he make all your enemies friends. May he make reality of your plans. May your present be pleasant. May you have a good end. May your heart be purified of its flaws. And may you act according to the laws that were revealed in the book of Allah. And may he catch you whenever you fall. May the one guide you to the truth. When you doubt, may he show you the proof. May you be like the Ahl Asuf with the wisdom of the elders, the energy of the youth. May he accept your prayers and your fasts. The very first all the way to the last and remove obstacles that you have. And may you receive everything that you ask. May you never have regret for your past and receive mercy, not the wrath. And as you travel down your personal path, may you always have a reason to laugh. Amen. Amen. Amen to everybody out there. Good job. And uh, I'm sure the Ameens were resounding around the world. And inshallah, the angels were saying Amen with you all. And inshallah, it's a blessing for all of us during this special time of year. And we ask that Allah accepts the prayers and the du'as and the righteous actions of all the believers, especially those making the journey to Allah's house. And inshallah, we all get a chance to make that journey soon. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair, baraka blue. And we will be bringing you back later in the program for another poem, this one. The one that's coming up is about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi We're really excited to hear it, inshallah. Thank you. Inshallah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. So that was Baraka Blue, and he'll be joining us again for another poem. So don't go anywhere because the other poem is, is so, so beautiful as well. And I hope you guys were saying Amin. I hope you guys were saying Amin as he was reciting, inshallah. And we're now going to bring to the stage Sheikha Aisha Prime. Sheikha Aisha Prime, and we've had her, we had her in the first session, session number one, class number one. Today is class number four. It's day four. We're almost halfway. Can you believe we're almost halfway through this online kids camp, Hajj at home? It's, it's, uh, it's time is going fast, isn't it? Time is going really, really fast. SubhanAllah. The Sheikh Aisha Prime, mashallah, has studied Islam. She became Muslim when she was 17 years old and she studied Islam in Egypt and she studied Islam in Yemen and she teaches all over the world, mashallah. And we were so happy to have her with us also when Celebrate Mercy went to Mecca and Medina, mashallah. Sheikha Aisha Prime was leading us as we, we made tawaf around the Kaaba. Can you imagine that we had a big group? We had 100 people and we were going around the Kaaba together and Sheikha Aisha Prime was leading us and and we were repeating after her in Arabic and in English, making dua as we went counterclockwise around the Kaaba. MashaAllah. So I'm now going to bring Sheikh Aisha Prime to the stage. Sheikh Aisha, it's great to have you with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's great to be with you. Alhamdulillah. I see some of my friends all over the world already greeting me, saying salam. You're all so fun. I'm so happy to be with you again. Alhamdulillah. So as you saw right on the uh, on the screen today, we're talking about tawaf, right? Tawaf around the Kaaba, walking around the Kaaba seven times counterclockwise. So we already know what that means, right? It means to walk around the Kaaba seven times. Padalaks, pretty easy. So before we even begin, I actually want to do something really, really quick, inshallah. I want us to sing this song together because as we go through these days, and can you believe we're, we're almost halfway there already? Subhanallah, go so, so fast. So 
I want us to go through all the steps, subhanAllah, of Hajj, right? So the first thing, you guys already learned it. So you're going to make your intention. And you're, when you're wearing what? What are you, what's that thing you're wearing when you, or the state that you're in? It's really about the state that you're in. When you enter and when you're getting ready for how you enter into this state and the men, they wear these two white garbs. What's that called? What's that called? What's that called? The state you enter. Who knows? Who knows? Yes, mashallah, Faisal, so fast, right? He's fast on it, right? The ihram, exactly. The ihram, mu'mina, ihram, mashallah. You guys got it. It's the ihram. All right, so the first thing is ihram. Then after ihram, we're going to do tawaf seven times. And then safa and marwa, right, seven times. And then we're going to climb Mount Arafat just one time, not seven, alhamdulillah. Right, and then we're going to camp in Mina. And then we're gonna stone the Jamarat, stone Shaitan, right? And then we're gonna make the sacrifice, subhanAllah, and pray Allah accept. Okay, you got it? I said it super fast, but don't worry. I'm gonna remind you, because we're gonna sing the song together. All right? So it goes, we will all travel to Mecca for the Hajj, inshallah. We will all travel to Mecca for the Hajj. Sing with me. We will all travel to Mecca. We will all go to Mecca. We will all go to Mecca for the Hajj. This is to help you remember. We will all be in Ihram for the Hajj. We will all be in Ihram for the Hajj. We will all be in Ihram. We will all be in Ihram. We will all be in Ihram for the Hajj. Good job. What comes next? We will walk around the Kaaba seven times. We will walk around the Kaaba seven times. We will walk around the Kaaba. We will walk around the Kaaba. We will walk around the Kaaba seven times. What happens next? We will walk Safa and Marwa seven times. We will walk Safa and Marwa seven times. We will walk Safa and Marwa. We will walk Safa and Marwa. We will walk Safa and Marwa seven times. Great job. We will climb Mount Arafat seven times. Seven, not seven times on the Hajj. <laughs> we will all climb Mount Arafat on the Hajj. Yes, we will all climb Mount Arafat. We will all climb Mount Arafat. We will all climb Mount Arafat on the Hajj. We give me that. We will all camp in Mina for the Hajj. Ya Rab. We will all camp in Mina for the Hajj. We will all camp in Mina. We will all camp in Mina. We will all camp in Mina for the Hajj. Okay. Get ready for this. You ready? Got your, you got your stones ready? We will all stone the Jamra for the Hajj. Allahu Akbar. We will all stone the Jamra for the Hajj. Allahu Akbar. We will all stone the Jamra. We will all stone the Jamra. We will all stone the Jamra for the Hajj. Allahu Akbar. We will all make a sacrifice on the Hajj. We will all make a sacrifice on the Hajj. We will all make sacrifice. We will all make sacrifice. We will all make sacrifice for the Hajj. We will all pray Allah will accept. We all pray Allah will accept. We all pray unto Allah. We will all pray Allah. We will all pray Allah will accept. Jazakumullah khair. You guys did great. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. You guys did a great job. So now you've got all the steps. All right. So going back to the one we're doing today, which is tawaf around the Kaaba. Now, do you see all those Muslims in the picture? That's amazing, right? That's amazing. All these Muslims are coming from all over the world. They literally, like you, you've seen them already, right? They're coming from Saudi Arabia. They're coming from Oman. They're coming from Yemen, right? You see them all look like this, many of them. But then you've got some coming as far as like China and Japan. You've got them coming from all over the world, far as east as you can go, subhanAllah, going to Hajj as well. Then, subhanAllah, you've even got Muslims coming from like South America, Latin America. You've got Muslims coming all over the world, joining together with one heart, subhanAllah. And this is part of the meaning of the tawaf, that the Muslims are putting their heart together. They're putting their intention together. And this becomes so powerful because all of those Muslims, millions of Muslims are literally with all their hearts together, all of their du'as, all of them saying, what are they saying together? 
I know you know it. I saw you do it in the earlier ones. What are they saying when they're in their ihram and they're going around the Kaaba? What are they saying? They're saying, the bake Allah, la bake, the bake la sharika laka la bake, inna alhamda wa niyamata laka wal mulk. Yes, la sharika la. Exactly. And they're, as the Muslims are going, they do everything. They're, do you do the counterclockwise? Why? So your heart is closest. Exactly. So your heart is closer to the Kaaba so that your heart is connected to what Allah honors. Exactly what we're trying to do in this month, right? To honor these days of Allah, for our hearts to be connected to the Kaaba, that this is the house of Allah, for our hearts to be, subhanAllah, connected to what Allah loves. All right, our short, our time is really short. So then the next thing, after we make tawaf around the Kaaba, you're gonna go pray behind Maqam Ibrahim, subhanAllah. And after you pray behind the Maqam of Ibrahim, why? Uh, you're gonna see his footsteps, they're huge. He was so tall, subhanAllah, he was so tall. When you pray behind the Maqam of Ibrahim, you're saying, oh Prophet Ibrahim, I'm answering, you called me to Allah. You called this Ummah to one God. You called this Ummah to one mission, to call people to Allah, SubhanAllah. And we're saying, I'm also going to follow in your footsteps, Prophet Ibrahim, by also following in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad. So all the way from Prophet Muhammad so to Prophet Ibrahim and Islam and uh, Ismail, all the way to Prophet Muhammad all the way to you. That Allah chose you to be in that righteous lineage, subhanAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to do exactly as we said in the song, that we would all make tawaf together, we would be climb arafat together, and that we would be idnila, uh, be able to camp in minute together and all the wonderful things of Hajj. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who are able to go to Allah's house. Jazakum al khair. Thank you guys so much. All right. So what can you do today to increase your focus on Allah? Right? Because that's also what the Kaaba going around tawaf is about. Like you're focusing your mind, you're focusing your heart, you raise your hands, you're saying, oh Allah, right? All the Muslims are, are talking to Allah at the same time. They're all focused on Allah, asking Allah for something, saying, oh Allah, here I am. I'm your servant, just like Prophet Ibrahim, just like Prophet Muhammad, just like our mother Hajjah. Here I am, ya Allah, I'm your servant. What do you say? What can I do so that when I'm praying, or I'm making dua, I can focus my heart on Allah? What it, good job, loving bear, mashallah, mashallah. Be respectful to Allah, yes. Have your mind focus on Allah in prayer. Read the Quran, yes. Read the Quran, Nur Malik. Say dua more. Yes, the more you say dua, the more focus you get. Yeah, pray on time. You're so right, exactly. Soon as you know, this prayer time, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, you answer. MashaAllah, exactly loving bear. As soon as you hear that Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, you say, Labaik, here I am, O oh Allah. I'm your servant, right? And here I am ready to pray to you. SubhanAllah, good. Make dhikr, Khadija Muhammad. That was like an amazing answer. Make dhikr. The more you make dhikr when you're not praying, the more focused you're going to be when you pray. The more you you read Quran and you think about its meaning, subhanAllah, the more when you're in Salah, you're going to focus. You're going to understand. You're going to think about Allah. I'm so proud of all of you tonight, subhanAllah, for all the hard work you've been doing in this program, for joining in on the songs, for making sure that you, you participate, you remember, you're doing your sheets. You guys are so amazing, mashallah. You're going to the masjid. You're doing everything that Allah loves in these 10 days. So I know because you're on this call, Allah loves you. Jazakum ad, ad, ad khair. Mashallah, mashallah. For all the things you're doing to increase your focus, you're paying zakah, right? Remember this, even if you're at home, you can still go to hajj, of course, in your heart. You focus and say, Ya Rabbi, I give my life to you. I, I give my life to you. I give my mind to you. I want to think about what you want me to think about. Allah, I give my heart to you. I want to love what you want me to love. I give my eyes to you. I want to look at what you want me to look at. Right? I give my ears to you. I want to listen to what you want me to listen to. All these things. 
help you focus on Allah. Subhanallah. And yes, the unity of the Ummah. The Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is the most beautiful Ummah. Subhanallah. Because they come from all over the world. All colors, all languages. Subhanallah. That's the beauty of the Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, <laughs> Okay, so now, day four. Today you've got to focus on pages 13 through 14. Right, that these are the these are the workshops worksheets you're gonna do today. Right, that you're gonna focus on to walk around the Kaaba. Let's see, as you're circling around the Kaaba, can you make it? Can you find the Kaaba, inshallah? Can you find the black stone? Subhanallah. And then, as you can see, also there's a word search. You're searching, searching, searching for all of those words inside uh, the word search, subhanAllah. So I'm looking forward to seeing all of the winners, those of you who are doing your worksheets and sending in pictures and making beautiful art, subhanAllah, for those who are uh, joining in in the raffle so that you can win. I pray that we go to Umrah together, inshallah. Ameen. So... Jazakumullah khair. Thank you so much, Sheikha Aisha, for the beautiful lesson today and reminding our uh, kids that, you know, to, to look at their activity packet, their learning guide. Okay, look, we, we have someone that's saying they already did those pages, mashallah, pages 13 and 14. They're so fast. These yeah. kids are so smart. They're so fast. They're ahead of us, CD product. <laughs> they are. They are, mashallah. And everyone, you know, make dua for Sheikha Aisha Prime, all the teachers and all of the poets joining us, all the reciters and the munshids and all, everyone who played a role in bringing us this packet, this amazing packet and these classes. MashaAllah, everyone make dua for Sister Danielle. She did so much work to put this packet together and these slides. Mm -hmm. So Jazakumullah, everyone make dua for them. And we're we're gonna we're, we're, we're excited to see you again when you join us for the next pro, next session, inshallah, Sheikh Aisha. Jazakumullah khair. Inshallah. Take care. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Let's let you say salam to Baraka Blue real quick, uh, Sheikha Aisha, if you're still there. Happily. Assalamu alaykum, my dear brother. <laughs> wa alaykum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah bless you, Sheikha Aisha. It's great to see you. And uh, mashallah, Allah bless you and all of your loved ones. Ameen. Ameen. And you as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be able to to be in these Mubarak places again, be in Milan. I mean, I mean, we hope to make these <laughs> these journeys with you and celebrate mercy very soon, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah, that would be great. <laughs> Absolutely. So we're gonna now bring, uh, inshallah, Baraka Blue to the stage for a, another poem. This is a poem, mashallah, that he'll he'll introduce it for us, and we have the uh, we have the uh, poetry on slides that you can read along and follow. Alhamdulillah. So, mashallah, what a blessing to have our dear sister, Sheikha Aisha, for this wonderful lesson that she shared. And we're so grateful to learn about the to'af, this beautiful, beautiful thing of circling around the Kaaba. And alhamdulillah wa shukrulillah, all of the rites of the pilgrimage were taught to us by the Prophet And we're so blessed because we know what the prophet did. We know exactly how he prayed and that's how we pray. We know exactly how he fasted and that's how we fast. We know even how he walked into the room and the dua he said. We know the dua after he would eat a meal. We know all these details of our prophet وسلم, what he would wear, what he would smell like, right? How he would speak. We're so blessed that our scholars have preserved this for us so that we know exactly what the Prophet ﷺ was like. And one of the ways, of course, we don't have pictures of the Prophet, but we have the depictions. We have the stories of the Prophet. And one of the great collections of descriptions of the Prophet was one by one scholar called Al-Ghazali. Some of you might have heard of Imam Al-Ghazali. And he has a whole book describing the character of the Prophet. So when I read that book, I was so moved by it. And I wrote this poem to summarize what he shared in that book. And so this is called Beloved. And it is a description of the Prophet's character. So inshallah, if you're there, you can either read along or you can close your eyes and imagine the Prophet ﷺ because this is like painting a picture of the Prophet with words. So this is his description. 
Can you imagine one who was the gentlest of men while being the most brave and just of all who've been? One who conquered all desires of self that make men weak, who granted all who asked him precisely what they seek, whom only Jewel poured out his mouth whenever he would speak, who was the gem amongst the stones of men who shined unique. A selflessness and generosity that some would say was merely myth until they'd seen the lovers of his way. Who used to mend his sandals and used to patch his clothes. Who used to serve his family whenever he was home. Who had a noble shyness, not gazing long upon a face. Who honored all he ever met, be they king or be they slave who always found himself at home the most amongst the poor, who never angered for himself, but only for his Lord. Always just, always truthful, conscious of the one, even if it brought discomfort to himself and those he loved. A satiated stomach his whole life was rarely felt, not due to poverty, but preference of others to himself. Who knew the time of day by sun, and the direction by the stars who would walk amongst his enemies without a single guard. Devoid of any trace of self, just humble and serene, eloquent but not verbose, just precisely what he means. Whom all within his company felt light and sacred cheer, whom there was not a thing within creation that he feared. Who loved to play with children and run races with his wives, who would join the festivities and honor customs of all tribes. When people yelled and lost their cool around him, he was calm, who asked forgiveness for his enemies, even as they did him wrong. Who kept a goat, he'd milk himself for people in his house, whose wives, when asked about him, said he was the perfect spouse. Who never looked down on a pauper or flattered once a prince, but called every soul unto the one without even a flinch. Every single gorgeous trait of character he had of noble lineage, if he was the orphan of his clan. One imbued with wisdom and piercing inner sight, yet he was the unlettered one who would neither read nor write. All knowledge and trait of character unflawed were placed inside his very being directly by a law. The way to salvation and triumph after death to detachment and joy in life with each and every breath. To walk the righteous path and never falter come what may. And may Allah give us success in following his way. They call him El Amin, the trustworthy, the honest. And we call him beloved, our master, Muhammad. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi wa ala alihi sallallahu alayhi. Jazakallah khair. Alhamdulillah, could you all imagine, could you all see him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? May Allah make us like him, I mean outwardly and inwardly. And may we carry his character on, inshallah. And when people interact with us and see us, may they see the Prophet's character sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet said, convey from me even a single verse. So even if you only know one hadith or one thing about the Prophet Sallallahu if you live that and embody that and communicate that, then you will be carrying on his way, the way of light, the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wasallam. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair. Uh, our dear brother, Baraka Blue. Uh, we got so many comments coming in from the kids. They love the poem as you were reading it, and they sent comments after you read it. Uh, and we hope to have you back again, inshallah, for more beautiful poetry. Everyone say thank you and Jazakallah khair to Baraka Blue. And make sure you also get a copy of his book, his new book that came out, so you can read and learn his poetry and check out some of the poetry he's done on Celebrate Mercy's YouTube channel. Inshallah, if you go to our YouTube and you type in Baraka Blue, you'll find some of his poems that he did on Celebrate Mercy as well. And just search for him in general. You can find a lot of his poetry online, inshallah. Thank you to our dear brother, Baraka Blue. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.
Walaikum assalam warahmatullah. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring back up my slides, inshallah. And we are going to go ahead and close the program. I know we're running a little bit late. We apologize for that. And if you missed any part of the program, go back and rewind it, watch the recording, learn about the contest because one of you, one of you is going to win a free trip to Mecca and Medina. So if you did not learn about those contests, how you can be a part of that contest, um, go back and watch the recording because we talked about how you can get your name in the hat when we choose a name out of the hat to win a trip, inshallah, to Mecca and Medina. We hope you guys really enjoyed this session. I can see we have almost uh, over 150 computers and phones and tablets who are watching. Many families are watching right now. Many more will watch the recording. We're so grateful that you all joined us today. And don't, don't forget that tomorrow we will continue with day five, day five. And don't forget to download and print out the activity packet, the learning guide, so that you can do those activities at home, inshallah. So let's end with Surah Al-Asr, inshallah. Everyone, raise your hands. Let's make a closing dua together, inshallah. Bismillah rahman rahim Wal asr Inna al-insana lafi khusr Illa al-ladhina amanu وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر آمين آمين جزاكم الله خير may Allah bless you all we'll see you tomorrow for day 5 السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته